Welcome back to our psychology channel. Today, we're doing a deep dive into how mindfulness actually changes the brain, and how those changes dramatically reduce stress and anxiety in daily life. We'll cover the neuroscience of mindfulness, how regular practice reshapes areas like the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the prefrontal cortex, the psychological benefits, why mindfulness helps with emotional regulation, rumination, and cognitive flexibility, evidence from mindfulness-based programs like MBSR and MBCT and the groundbreaking research that supports them, practical mindfulness techniques including mindful breathing, body scans, guided meditations, and more, bringing mindfulness into everyday life, quick simple ways to incorporate mindful awareness while eating, walking, or taking digital breaks. By the end of this video, you'll discover how mindfulness physically transforms your brain, helps you break free from anxious thought loops, and boosts overall well-being. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by life's stress, this might be the game-changer you've been searching for. Let's dive right in. Let's start with the science. Thanks to modern brain imaging techniques like MRI and fMRI, we now have clear evidence that mindfulness practice leads to measurable changes in brain structure and function. Hippocampus gains. In an eight-week mindfulness program, researchers at Harvard found increased gray matter density in the hippocampus, the region crucial for learning, memory, and regulating emotions. This increase in gray matter correlates with better emotional balance. People often feel more composed even under stress. Amygdala quieting. The amygdala, our brain's fear center, becomes less dense and less reactive after consistent mindfulness training. This means fewer fight-or-flight overreactions in daily life and a notable drop in stress and anxiety. Prefrontal cortex strength. The prefrontal cortex, sometimes called the wise leader of the brain, thickens in key areas like the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the anterior cingulate cortex ACC. This growth enhances focus, decision-making, and self-control, making it easier to stay calm instead of panicking under pressure. Reduced default mode network activity. Studies show mindfulness decreases activity in the default mode network DMN, the part of the brain active during mind-wandering and rumination. Less DMN activity equals less anxious looping of thoughts and more presence in the here and now. Put simply, the practice of mindfulness isn't just about feeling calmer, it literally rewires your brain, thickening key areas, shrinking stress centers, and balancing neural activity. These changes support everything from better emotional control to greater mental clarity. So how do these brain changes translate into real-life mental health benefits? Let's break it down. Improved emotional regulation. When you practice mindfulness, you get better at observing emotions like anger or fear without instantly reacting. Research has found that mindfulness increases your capacity to regulate affect, meaning you're far less likely to be hijacked by stress or overwhelmed by negative feelings. Breaking rumination cycles. Rumination is when negative thoughts keep spinning in your mind. Mindfulness teaches you to notice these thoughts early, acknowledge them, and let them go, rather than getting stuck in a stress spiral. Enhanced cognitive flexibility and focus. Bringing your attention back to the present, like focusing on your breath, strengthens what psychologists call cognitive flexibility. Mindfulness also improves working memory and overall attention, making you less scattered, more composed, and able to handle tasks efficiently, even under pressure. Less anxiety, higher well-being. Across numerous studies, individuals practicing mindfulness report reduced anxiety, lower perceived stress, and an overall boost in life satisfaction. People often describe feeling more in control of their reactions, which leads to day-to-day -day emotional resilience. So why is mindfulness so potent for stress and anxiety? Because it tackles the root causes, emotional reactivity, negative thought loops, and mental rigidity. It gives us a toolbox for staying grounded rather than drowning in worry. Mindfulness isn't just a buzzword, it's been rigorously studied in standardized programs for decades. Let's look at two of the most famous. MBSR, Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction. Developed by Dr. John Kabat-Zinn in the 1970s for patients with chronic pain and stress. Typically an eight-week group program with guided meditations, gentle yoga, and daily home practice. Multiple studies have shown significant reductions in anxiety, depression, and psychological distress. 
One 2022 clinical trial even found MBSR to be as effective as a common anti-anxiety medication, escitalopram, in reducing anxiety symptoms. MBCT, Mindfulness-Based Cognitive Therapy, a fusion of mindfulness with cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, created to help prevent depression relapse, also delivered in an eight-week format, focusing on early recognition of negative thought patterns, proven highly effective at reducing relapse rates in those with recurrent depression, and also helps with general anxiety and stress. Many clinical guidelines now recommend MBCT as a follow-up for recurrent depression. These programs show that mindfulness isn't fringe, it stands on solid scientific ground, it can complement medication or therapy or sometimes even stand alone as a powerful intervention for stress, anxiety and depression. Ready to try mindfulness for yourself? Here are some of the most accessible techniques. Mindful breathing. Sit comfortably, close your eyes and focus on your natural breath, in and out. When your mind wanders, and it will, gently bring it back to the next inhale or exhale. Even a few minutes can activate your body's relaxation response, slowing heart rate and reducing stress hormones. Body Scan Meditation Systematically move your attention from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Notice sensations, tension, tingling, warmth, without judgment. This practice helps you release physical tension and drift into a calmer state, ideal for winding down at night. Guided Mindfulness Meditation If self-directing feels challenging, Try guided sessions via apps or recorded lessons. A teacher's voice can help keep you on track, prompting relaxation cues and gentle refocusing. Research shows guided mindfulness can lead to lower stress levels and improved mood even when done for short periods. Mindful movement. Practices like gentle yoga or tai chi use slow, attentive movements linked with the breath. Or consider walking meditation. Walk slowly and focus on each step, the sensation in your feet, and the environment around you. Perfect for people who find it hard to sit still, mindful movement also promotes physical relaxation and mental clarity. Experiment with these techniques to see what resonates. Remember the key to mindfulness is consistent practice, not perfection. Even 5 to 10 minutes a day can begin to reshape your stress response. Mindfulness isn't limited to formal meditation sessions, you can infuse it into everyday routines. Mindful eating, slow down, savor each bite, notice the flavors, and put away distractions like phones. Mindful eating can reduce stress eating and even lower levels of cortisol, our primary stress hormone. Mindful walking. When walking, whether it's to the mailbox or around the block, tune into the present moment. Feel your feet meet the ground, notice your surroundings, and disconnect from your racing thoughts. Mindful breaks and digital detox. Schedule short breaks where you completely unplug from technology. Even 10 minutes without screens can help your mind reset and lower anxiety. If you notice mindless scrolling, gently refocus on what you intended to do or simply take a few deep breaths. Mindfulness during routine activities. Brushing teeth, washing dishes, folding laundry, do these with full presence. Observe the sensations, smells and sounds. When the mind drifts, bring it back to the task at hand. This transforms mundane chores into mini meditative moments, refreshing your mind throughout the day. Think of these as micro moments of mindfulness. Each small check-in can interrupt the stress cycle and ground you in what's real right now. Let's summarize the key benefits research has consistently found better emotional regulation. You become less reactive, better able to respond rather than react to stress. Over time this fosters emotional resilience. Stress still happens, but it doesn't take over your day. Reduced rumination. Mindfulness techniques interrupt negative thought loops, preventing anxiety from spiraling. You learn to observe and release worrisome thoughts which can feel liberating. Improved attention and focus. Regular practice sharpens concentration and working memory. Being fully in the moment also helps you be more efficient at daily tasks. Enhanced overall well-being. Practitioners often report better mood, higher life satisfaction, and even improvements in sleep and physical health. Mindfulness changes your relationship to stress, helping you approach challenges with calm and clarity. Of course, mindfulness isn't a magic cure for everything, but it's a science-backed tool that almost anyone can use. 
If you're dealing with severe anxiety or other conditions, mindfulness can complement professional treatments. But the research strongly suggests it helps most of us handle day-to-day -day stress much more effectively. So that's the overview of how mindfulness rewires the brain to tackle stress and anxiety, and how you can start weaving it into daily life. Here's my gentle challenge for you. Pick one technique, maybe mindful breathing or a short guided meditation, and try it for just 5 minutes a day this week. Notice how you feel afterward. Maybe you're a bit calmer, or you catch your thoughts drifting less. Over time, these small changes add up to big transformations. Remember, there's no perfect way to do mindfulness. Your mind will wander, that's normal. Each time you notice and gently bring it back, you're strengthening that mindfulness muscle. And gradually, you'll find your stress triggers losing their grip and your day flowing with greater ease. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this helpful, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with someone who could use a little more calm in their life. Feel free to drop any questions or your own experiences with mindfulness in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, take a moment, take a breath, and take care. You deserve a life of less stress and more presence. See you in the next video.